Hello and welcome to Trending Stories on yen.com.gh with me, Philip Abutiati. Now, let's begin from the presidency because President Okufuadu has arrived safely in Ghana after escaping an accident which involved his presidential jet. The incident occurred after one of the engines of the aircraft went off just about 20 minutes after takeoff. The situation was, however, brought under control. When the attention of the president and others he was traveling with was drawn, a decision was taken to land the aircraft after flying it for about an hour to dispose of some of its fuel content. It subsequently landed safely at Dallas Airport in Washington, where a commercial South African Airways flight was arranged for the president and his delegation. Now, this is not the first time the presidential jet had challenges. It's actually the third in almost four years after a similar incident occurred a few years ago. It would be recalled that in March 2015, the jet caught fire while attempting to take off from the Kotoka International Airport before the presidential jets on December 5, 2014, carrying former President John Mahama developed a technical fault, delaying his appearance at the 30th National Farmers Day celebration in the Western region. With all these faults, which could pose a threat to the life of the president and others who may be traveling with him on the jet, many have expressed safety and security concerns, especially when government has made it clear that buying a new presidential jet is not the agenda now. Well, you can leave your thoughts in the comment section, but we do hope a lasting solution is quickly found to the issues concerning the presidential jet. Now, let's shift our focus to another trending story because young Ghanaian millionaire Ibrahim Dauda, known in public cycles as Ibra One, has taken to social media hours after he was reported to have been put on a funeral poster in relation to men's gold. Ibra had earlier waded into debates on issues involving embattled gold dealership company Men's Gold Ghana and Bank of Ghana as well as Security and Exchange Commission. The young millionaire indicated that he is willing to die if Men's Gold could bounce back and serve its customers. The gold dealership firm, however, resumed business as promised on September 28 and sent a communique to its customers concerning their extra value payments. As a result, an obituary of Ibra One was seen making rounds on social media to support the fact that he had lost a serious bet with men's gold. However, dividend payments to clients is not devoid of challenges as some have reported not to have received their extra values. Ibra, who indicated his readiness to end his life should men's gold return to work said yet in another post that customers of men's gold should accept the fact that there is no money. One of his earlier posts had also suggested that officials of the entity had used deposits of clients to cater for musicians and artists. The young millionaire, who is noted for his flashy cars, caught the attention of Ghanaians after he was seen in a video on his birthday giving out brand new iPhones to some passengers of a commercial bus. And that has been trending stories on yen.com.gh with me, Philip Wright Abutiati. Remember, for more regular updates such as this, to visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you later.